97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio, always. Hello, I'm Eugenia Tenukran. Coming up in today's edition, some parts of Accra underwater again after several hours of rains this morning. This and other stories on today's edition of Today News Daily on City TV. But for the timely intervention of the Ghana military, residents of the Odona Sahara area, a suburb of Accra, will have been trapped as flood waters submerged several houses and structures there. Parts of Adabraka were flooded after about four hours of heavy downpour, trapping hundreds of residents in the area. The military dashed to the flood scene with rescue boats to salvage the situation. Well, the Adabraka Sahara area is not the only area that got flooded today. The main Spintex Road, the Kaswa Highway, and some areas in Asylum Down and Airport Residential Area were also flooded. Some vehicles got stuck in the flats, while others were forced to divert their route. My name is Naomi Kwe. I'm the proprietor of Odogono Daycare Center. Each and every year, this is what we have been experiencing. And each and every year, we, we have been hearing that they are preparing the place by taking the by making the place free for us. But so when there is heavy rain, this is what we face. This is the problem that we have been facing. And today, after the rain, we thought we are free. So we were even saying, oh, as of uh, today, we are free. If I'm not mistaken, exactly a year since and it's just this today. That is third June. We have this flat here. It was very, very terrible. And today too, we had it. We were there when people were shouting. So we came out and saw that the flood is coming from the, uh, the water is coming from the park. Then therefore we have to rescue the children. So we came out with the children and let the fruits, everything. We make up all our properties there. And all our properties is now condemned. We want to plead with the government to come to our aid and see what is really affecting us by having that flood each and every year when there is rain. And not once, not twice, but we can, a year we can have it about three times or four times. In our next story, let's take you to the courts where former boss of the Ghana Real Estate Developers Association, Greta, Dr. Alex Chinibua, has been sentenced to two years imprisonment for engaging in seam box fraud. Dr. Chinibua, together with five others, was arrested by a joint task force headed by the Criminal Investigations Department in January last year. The task force seized one seam box with a 64-slot seam server, 4G internet modem, one laptop computer and mini antennas from a house at Bachona Manet area here in Accra. Well, my colleague Fred Jabano was in court and he joins us on set with details. Good afternoon, Fred. Good afternoon, Eugenia. So, what was Dr. Alex Chinibua's mood after the ruling today? After the sentencing, um, Dr. Chinibua looked very sad. Um, he had to be consoled by his lawyers. and. Um, to correct you, during the uh, a sentence, he was sentenced for 24 months, and um, the judge, Justice Ifiasewa Boche, said that the sentence, the leniency in the sentence was due to the fact that Dr. Chinibua did this or was engaged in this practice for just less than six months before he was arrested. That's how come he got 24 months. Um, otherwise, Dr. Chinibua would have gotten more than 24 months. He was also charged or fined 24,000 CDs. With failure to pay that money, he would spend another 24 months in prison, and that's going to be like four years if not careful. Okay, so we also understand that an Accra High Court also has ordered that all the bank accounts of former Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana National Health Insurance Authority, Sylvester Mensah, be unfrozen. What are the details on that story as well? So remember, in January, the FIC went to court to seek a court order to put to freeze the accounts of Mr. Mensah some few months down the lane. They were back in court today asking the court to unfreeze the same accounts. There are four accounts and um, according to them investigations have shown that Mr. Mensah was not involved in any crim criminal activity. Also, uh, Mr. Mensah, after the whole incident, I spoke to Mr. Mensah and he said that he's happy to be exonerated and he knew from the beginning that he had done nothing wrong. So today's um, uh, uh, ruling came as no surprise to him. Okay, thank you very much, Fred. Fred Jabanon 
is our man in court and he's bringing us updates on what happened in court today. And in our final story, we take you to Crowform in the Ashanti region. We understand tension is mounting once again in Crowform as family members of the late Osei Teria are angry with officials of the Comfanochi Teaching Hospital and the police service for delaying the second post mortem report. The burial ceremony for the late Osei Teria is slated to come off today but has been postponed again. Meanwhile, officials of the Comfanochi Teaching Hospital have noted that they will only release the remains of Teria after they receive an official clearance from the police service. And that is how we end today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. For more news updates, log on to cityfmonline.com. My name is Eugenia Tenkran. <music>